from my friend Todd. By the way, a shout out to you, Todd, for the wonderful video that you did with us. It's amazing how many people are watching your video and touched by your personal experience with multiple myeloma. And if you haven't seen it, by the way, go to our YouTube channel and you can watch Todd Kennedy. Is myeloma curable? How do you define cure? Do you predict patients being cured? This might be one of the most common questions we receive. I always want to define it the way a lay person on the street would. If I walked up to someone on the street and said, how do you think a disease is cured? They typically say, well, you get treated, you stop treatment, you don't have to think about it again. That's how I would love to describe cure in multiple myeloma. We give people a defined period of treatment and then their disease goes away. They don't have to think of it again. We've always had a very small fraction of patients over the years who with very limited treatment have gone into very long remissions. But thankfully that number, that fraction is growing. I'm not saying that we're curing the majority of myeloma patients, but we are definitely seeing such an improvement as people live longer and the proportion of patients that go for long periods of time off treatment or on minimal treatment is growing. As we work towards a cure, we're not going to wake up one morning and all of a sudden instantly have a cure. It is step by step making the disease more controllable, making the disease more chronic before we make the disease curable.